Happy Valentine's Day to my fellow horror fanatics. And a uh, side rant of mine here, you ever wonder how society turned a festival about honoring a saint who was clubbed to death and thrown into a cave into an excuse to eat chocolate and get laid? Like we need more excuses for that. Anyhow, uh, what better way to uh, romance the one you love than with a little glass of the vino by a nice fireside? And in this case, I've got a Scary Good Drink review here of a wine that just, uh, oh, this name and this label just jumped out at me when I saw it on the shelf. This is The Kinker by Four Vines. Let me get you a uh, little closer look at this uh, very unique and interesting label here. As you can see, this is uh, quite the unique choice for the uh, cover image on the label, which is uh, why it brought the Cenobites to mind for me. Although, uh, based on this little doohickey that our character is wearing, maybe uh, Jigsaw would have wanted a piece of this too. But uh, you, you can still tell why this one just, uh, boy, I just kind of knew this had to be for Valentine's Day. Beyond that, there's really not much that I could do in terms of research for this because uh, Four Vines does not appear to be a very old winery. And it totally looks like one of those fad ones that probably is not going to be very long lived. Uh, there's actually no legend attached to this bottle. All you get is that it's from the Four Vines of Paso Robles, uh, California, and that it's got a 14% by volume alcohol content. Uh, pretty standard, slightly on the stronger side. The legend actually comes from their website. Let's get you a closer look at that. Back in the day, carnivals would travel between the Los Angeles metropolis and the San Francisco Bay Area. The journey was a long one, and the crews would need to stop in one of the Central Coast's small towns for an overnight break, often putting on a show to pay the way. The locals enjoyed hosting clowns, acrobats, and contortionists among this always colorful crew. What does that have to do with kink? Maybe they should have just called it the contortionist. Oh, but wait, there's a second legend. Entertainment that's freakish yet graceful, strange and unnatural, presenting the kinker Cabernet Sauvignon, Born in the red rolling hills of Paso Robles east side, the kinker is full-bodied with bowl flavors and black currant and chewy tannins. But enough about all that. The true, you know, final say-so is going to, of course, come to how is it on the tongue? So, bottoms up. Happy Valentine's Day. Here's to you. Let's give this a shot. As you can probably tell from my face, yeah, this is not exactly romantic, but it is kind of scary. It's very bitter. Um, I mean, I can taste the black currant, and you can kind of tell that they did a wood barrel age this, but ooh, I can't say that's very good at all. Um, the price on this bottle was around uh, 15 bucks, but I'm going to say confidently that was money wasted. There's there's even a slightly metallic aftertaste to this. Not exactly uh, fit for romance, though maybe useful for torture. Yeah, I, I don't even want to finish that. That's, it, it's like drinking juice after you brush your teeth. Ugh. But still, the name was worth a try. Um, as always, folks, you know, I just got to say, take care of yourselves and look out for each other because we're not through it yet. Even for the day of romance, let's honor the saint by eating chocolate and getting shit-faced, but not on that. Um, horror fanatics, I just want to say thank you all for continuing to like, follow, subscribe, and watch. Seeing that viewership goes up means a lot to me. 
I'm really just doing this for my own amusement. Hey, maybe one day it'll be a career. But the fact that you guys are liking what you see means a lot. And I know my content is really low quality. I'm not a pro. But I'm glad you're all enjoying and I'm glad that you're liking it. So, happy Valentine's Day. And take care of yourselves. Eat, drink, and be scary. I'll see you next time.